Here we go. Chicken terminology that every chicken owner should know. First term, waddle. The waddle is fleshy skin that is under the chin of a chicken. It can be on both the males and females. Second term, comb. The comb on a chicken is the fleshy skin on the top of their head. Both males and females can have that. Term number three, cockerel. This is a cockerel. A cockerel is a young male chicken, so less than one year of age. Term number four, pullet. A pullet is a young female chicken, less than a year of age. Like this one. <laughs> Term number five, coop. A coop is the house that you keep your chickens in. Like this one behind me. This one behind me is a chick coop. <laughs> I keep my chicks in there. It provides shelter for your chickens. <laughs> Term number six, plumage. Plumage is the feathered coat of your chicken. <laughs> right? Term number seven, starter. Starter is feed for your chicks that is high in protein and it's in a crumble form. Like this over here. This is starter. It's made for chicks and it's in a crumble form, easy for them to digest and it has all the protein they need for growing. <laughs> Term number eight, run. The run is a fenced in area that you keep your chickens safe in. So the chickens can come out of the coop and they can run around the run. <laughs> Term number nine, broody. That is a state when a hen is sitting on a clutch of eggs with the intention of hatching chicks. Term number 10, bantam. A bantam is a smaller breed of chicken, usually like half the size of your regular size chickens. I don't have any bantams to show you, but they're tiny. <laughs> free range. Free range is when chickens are allowed access to a large area without restrictions. So that can be in a pasture or it can be in a yard. The term is used to describe chickens that are allowed to range all over an area. <laughs> Number 12, molt. When a chicken is losing their feathers naturally to promote new feather growth. Number 13, hen. A female chicken who's over a year of age. Number 14, pecking order. The pecking order is the social order between chickens based off of size and temperament. Typically the smaller chickens are the ones that are going to be at the bottom of the pecking order and will essentially get pecked. Number 15, down. Baby chicks have down feathers. And that's these soft, fluffy, brand new feathers on your baby chicks. Term number 16, dust bath. Chickens will take a dust bath where they roll around in the dirt and dust and try to get all that dirt and dust underneath their feathers. And this is used to discourage mites. So they do this to get rid of mites or to prevent mites and also they use it to reduce the amount of oil on their feathers. Chickens naturally produce a lot of oil on their feathers to help keep them water resistant, but the dirt can help keep that oil in check. Term number 17, pin feathers. Pin feathers are the very tips of your developing feathers. Crossbreed. A chicken can be a crossbreed if its rooster parent and hen parent were of different breeds. And they cross the two to create a crossbreed. Term number 19, scratch. When you feed whole grains to your chickens or the act of throwing grains to your chickens and then scratching the ground, bloom. Bloom is a protective coating on the outside of a chicken egg that is freshly laid and that can help protect the, the egg against bacterial growth. Term number 21, layer. A layer is a hen who is kept for the specific purpose of egg production. Term number 22, roost. 
A roost is a horizontal bar or branch, piece of wood, and the chicken will use that to perch on. And typically a chicken at night will want to climb up and find a roost to sleep on. Term number 23, clutch. A clutch is a group of eggs that are together in a nest. Term number 24, candle. To candle is the act of shining a flashlight through a egg to determine whether it's fertilized and whether there's an embryo growing inside there. Term number 25, pipping. When a baby chick is trying to hatch out of an egg, it will use its egg tooth, which is a little sharp point on its beak, to break through a hole in the egg. That act of creating that initial hole is called pipping, which leads us into term number 26, zipping. When a chick has made that first pip, they will then proceed to pierce holes into the egg, cracking it around the egg horizontally. Term number 27, dual purpose breed. A dual purpose breed is a breed of chicken that can be used both for meat and egg production. So a buff Warpington like I have here, they are a dual purpose breed. Term number 28, bedding. Bedding, also known as litter, is what you use to cover your coop floor to absorb the droppings of a chicken. So that is typically like shaving, straw, hay. Number 29, grit. Grit is crushed rocks that chickens use to break down their food inside their gizzard. So this really helps with digestion and is necessary for chickens. Cock. A cock is a male chicken that is over a year of age. Like this rooster here. <laughs> Clifford is a cock, he's two years old. Term number 30, rooster. Rooster is a male chicken. So that can be a cock girl or a cock, meaning that they can be any age male chicken. Number 31, spurs. Spurs are a sharp appendage that can grow on the legs of chickens. Term number 32, vent. A vent is the opening where eggs and waste are expelled from a chicken. Layer feed. Layer feed is a chicken feed that you feed to your hens in order to provide them the nutrients that they need to lay eggs. Oyster shells, like it sounds. It's crushed up oyster shells that chickens use to get more calcium to help with laying eggs. So there you have it. Those are just a few terms about chickens to get you started when it comes to owning chickens. How many of those did you know? Leave a comment below. If you liked this video, we have a ton of chicken videos. Just check out our chicken care playlist. And if you haven't started your farm yet, what are you waiting for? Get your farm on. One, two, one, two, three, four. Do you want to farm? A wicked awesome farm. Watch this channel to learn what to do. We love to farm.